Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Jasmine. Uh. Okay. I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> There's that. Anyways, yeah, today we're talking about Jasmine Jaraguri. 11 and 1, 4 and 1 in the last five fights. As we see, the one loss is against Denise Gomes. Minus 550 favorite for Yasmin. 25 years old, 5'3 with a 64 inch reach. Fighting Caitlin Souza, who's 14 and 4. The one loss is against Kareen Silva. Beat a Marnik man who is not good. Um, again, she's 1 and 1 in the UFC. Now, she's fought, she's 3 and 1. Yasmin is 3 and 1 with one finish. And she was also finished, like I said, by Gomes. Real quick, real fast. Plus 400 underdog for Souza, 29 years old, 5'3", with a 63-inch reach. Team Felipe Regu is where uh, she trains at. This one is pretty cut and dry. It, it, it really is. So, Yasmin, you know, average fight time, 952 to 823, 64 to 63 reach wise. Here's where it's interesting. Landed per minute. 6.26 to 4.78, accuracy is 38 to 68, absorbed 5.12 to 2.03, defense is 55 to 60. Here's something else that also needs to be looked at. Takedowns, zero for Yasmin. 0.9, so so that does go for takedowns. Accuracy, zero for fit or in. Zero for Yasmin, 50 for Caitlin. Defense, 100% to 50. She's defended a lot of takedowns, but yeah. The problem with Souza in this matchup is she's only had two fights in the UFC. You know, stances, orthodox, both or orthodox in this one. I'm very curious to see in that loss against Kareem Silva, which was a freaking um, um, lock on the ground, Z lock. Okay. Anyways, uh, you know. Kareem Silva was able to get a takedown submission, 121 control time, 3 of 10 for, uh, for 4 of 12 of total strikes, but he didn't really get to see a ton in that matchup, which again, Kareem Silva is just, is is pretty good, pretty good, if, if we must say so. You know, the Marnik Man one is interesting, because Marnik Man is a very, very bad fighter, but she was able to land 111 out of 159 total strikes. Sozo was 93 of 132. That's why you can't look at strikes because you would think, oh, well, Marduk Man did well in that fight. Not really. 205 for takedowns, one submission attempt, one reversal, 254 of control. And Caitlin Sozo, I think a lot of that was in the in the third round, but um, Caitlin Sozo was... See, see, this is where it's... This is where it's interesting. Right here. 68 percent significant strikes landed 80 of 116 93 of 132 one of two for takedowns 50 percent on takedowns one reversal with 311 control right there at distance caitlin so 71 of 105 distance was 28 of 73 for morning man again i like caitlin so's in this one she's very very accurate she does hit pretty hard you know, striking defense is 60%. She doesn't get hit a ton, which seems kind of crazy, um, seeing 111 strikes against her. And, you know, Yasmin, you know, yeah, Yasmin. Lasmin Lacerdo was able to, you know, she was both. That was a very, very good fight, honestly. 66 of 181, 87 of 219. 36 to 39 significant strikes. Got 0 for 2 for takedowns. Here's distance 81 of 210, 64 of 169. It, it, it's such an action packed fight. And again, here's the fight that she loses against the, the, the Denise Gomes. Here it is 21 of 24. D uh, distance 0 for 1 for Yasmin, 4 of 6 at distance for Denise. Or De yeah, Denise Gomes, 17 of 20. Ground 13 of 14. She was able to close that distance real quick, land a big, big punch, and then she just never let her off the hook. So you look at Den Den's Denise Gomes. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. One second, let's look at her. Oh, wait, 
I guess you can just go to her page and then right here and she fights at G-A-E-A G-A-E-A -E project. I said it right the first time. Okay. Not, you know, more time. 63. She just covers a lot of distance. I like Kate and Soza in this one. I, 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 something about her style. I really, really like it. And I, I think she can cause, she has eight finishes. She does have four finishes in the first round. She has been submitted and finished. All four of her losses are by finish. She has been submitted twice. Both in the first round, Kareem Silva was able to finish her by knee bar in the first, as we knew already. Um, Mella was able to arm bar, her at, arm bar her as well, which was quite a while ago, 2019, uh, 2020. The Kareem Silva, is, she's really, really good. So that, that one's kind of got a pass, and then she destroyed man. Yasmin, where I think she can do a lot of good things in this fight is her movement, and she put... Again, five first round finishes as well, seven TKO wins, zero submissions. I I just like Caitlin Sosa in this one. This this might be a 50-50 for some. It's definitely a 50-50 fight, but this might be one where people are like, well, how in the world are you picking, picking Caitlin? I just like her style a little bit more against Yasmin Jaragui. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you are picking. She has nine finishes over 14 fights. Like I said, eight of them, eight eight TKO wins, four of them in the first round. I like Caitlin Souza. As long as she can get past that first round, I think she wins. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. She's never lost a decision as well. Five unanimous decisions. As always, peace.